Hey guys, this is Voltage, and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2, the Religious Unity Campaign. Before we get started here, I'm going to show you guys a bit of an issue I'm having. And that should become readily apparent by looking here at my save file. Last episode I became the Coptic Pope successfully, and the game let me keep playing, but as you can see here, my ruler is wearing an, a bishop hat and watch what happens when I click the play button. I instantly lose the game. Now, fortunately, I do have a backup from before I became Coptic Pope. It's during the war where I took Mecca from the Hashimids, and I'll be able to reload from that. Basically what I've learned from this is, well, the glitch that I've discovered allows me to play as a religious head, seemingly restarting the game after having that happen makes it realize that what I've done isn't supposed to be possible, and thus it defaults back to normal and this happens. So I'll be switching back to post-commentary right now. I drive it. Okay, I didn't realize this at the time of recording, but the um, sudden draining of my cash reserves is a result of my holding a holy order. People are taking um, loans from the Bektashi, and as such, I'm not really making money. Other side effects of doing this, I cannot find spouses for my children. And on top of that, I'm going to get random pop-ups where my courtiers ask to join the Bektashi Order and get sent back to my court.
And here we have an extremely glitchy um, string of divorce requests from my wife for seemingly no reason. Like, my wife, my first wife who is in love with me, for example, wants a divorce for whatever bizarre reason. And then when I say that I won't allow it, I get a different pop-up saying it's one of my other wives. And this happens multiple times, so... I think I found a bug. And here we finally have a pop-up from my Kordi mom saying that the Sheikdom of Gondar has been converted to Sunni Islam. This is important so that I don't get stuck as a Maya Faisite when I convert back when I convert to Christianity, so that I can give the Coptic Pope stuff. Or the Monophysite Pope or whatever. Because as I am Emperor of Abyssinia, I can change my capital to Gondar whenever I feel like it. So, this allows me to move my capital to back to a Sunni Muslim province whenever I'm done messing around having converted my religion to a Christian faith that I need to convert to for whatever reason. Since doing so basically involves moving my capital and clicking the convert to local religion button. All hail Coptic Pope Zacharias. Now I just need to figure out how to convert back to Islam.
And here we go with revoking Gondar so that I have it back in a barony capital. And now Gondar is my capital, so I can... Well, I still can't convert back to local religion because I own a religious head title. So my response to that will be giving one of my sons the title to the Coptic Papacy. Specifically one of my sons who is still a Muslim, because I think if I, I can give them a Sultanate if I do that. Freely, because they're not really a theocracy. Or I'll be able to just give them the Bekashi. But now once I deal with that, I'll be able to freely convert back to Islam, solving any issues with vassals and succession or whatever. So... This is resolved. Go ahead and watch the rest of the clip, and I will continue my unification of the faiths in the next episode. This is Voltage, signing off.